Hi, this is Highbridge Motorhomes Devon Branch and on this uh, superb uh, 5th of November fireworks night we are doing a, a very quick video between the uh, rain on this uh, absolutely, uh, I can't think of any fireworks related puns, absolutely explosively good shall we say, uh, 2021 Adria Compact Supreme DL. So Adria, they are a Slovenian giant of a company. Um, Built out of Nova Mesto in the Slovenian side of the Alps, just near Austria. Uh, superbly built vans and from the offset for the last 60 years, Adria have had to export and sell all of their products into Germany, France, Scandinavia and England and beat all of those at their own game and they've excelled. So one of Europe's biggest independent motorhome makers, in fact the biggest until a fairly recent merger with the giant Dragano group. They've got one of the biggest, most advanced factories in the industry in Europe. It's superb and a great passion for the product. So the compact range is, as the name suggests, a narrow body range. Think of it as a Heimer Exis equivalent, deathless low bus. You can see it is the same width exactly as the cab. And when you're driving down a country lane, and that makes a huge difference. The other thing Adria sensibly do is it's got van wing mirrors on, not the long arm ones. You don't need the long arm ones. So they're literally the same width as a van conversion. So easy to drive, you just never worry about getting places unlike with the, with the wider coach built stuff there. Now the compact range was launched in 2007, one of the first compact ranges on the market, compact low profile coach built and um, superbly successful. This came out in 2019, uh, I remember going to the trade launch and seeing the first one of these Supreme DLs and thinking what a stunning looking van. And I genuinely think this is one of the nicest looking motorhomes on the market. So it's all in silver, coachwork, um, aluminium coachwork to match the silver um, cab. You've got a 16 inch Fiat alloy wheels, this is a Supreme DL which is the best seller twin singles or a huge double over a big garage parallel sofa front lounge with seat belts one of the first companies to do that in a narrow body range anyway let's have a little look around the front so it's a 21 plate it's done 20,000 miles it's one owner so has been used a bit but it's been around Europe but it's been looked after it's in extremely good condition in fairness so it's not showing much in the way of signs of use so we've got fully color coded bumpers it's the last of the Fitch Cato X7 so that on the plus side means it's got the LED daytime running lights which the uh, X8 didn't have and you've got more proven reliability. Uh, black high gloss grille, Adria badge, Welsh Dragon, keep it, get rid of it, we can get rid of it if you wish. 16 inch alloy wheels with these big wide tyres for a really good ride. So the stubby little uh, electric adjustable heated mirrors, manual fold. Double glazed windows all the way around, really really smart graphics. True Magasin electric blown air heating. It's a grade three fully winterized van. These of course are designed for the Scandinavian market. Adria are the biggest selling brand across Scandinavia and the biggest selling non-German brand in Germany, including outselling some of the German's own domestic brands. Lounge window, kitchen window. What's this? It's a point four, an external something. <laughs> it's a barbecue point. It's probably on the wrong side, but it's there anyway. So barbecue point gas locker with room for two gas bottles and in terms of marks on the van I will point out anything as I go around and there's a little tiny dent just there it's only a little stand back a bit you can put a reflector over it if you want so opening up the gas locker so it's had gas low refillable bottles they've obviously been swapped over to the customer's next van but you could very easily fit twin 11 kilo gas low refillables in there this one's obviously been used for a long tour around Europe and you can refill gas low bottles abroad what I'd recommend is one color one 11 kilo gas low actually nicely set up we also take all like the cooker knobs and things like that off they're all in all in here so coming around to the rear of the van we've got a huge garage this is, uh, hasn't been swept out yet, it's the only bit that is showing signs of use of the van is the garage, uh, it's got a little scuff there, that's it really, part of it just needs a, needs a hoover out which we've not had a chance to do yet, we've got some extra hanging points fitted up there, there's lights, it's heated, this is your wastewater tank dump and as you can see from that your wastewater tank is heated and insulated as standard, so it's a twin skin 
waste water tank. So your fresh water tank, your pipe worker inside, your waste water tank is under the van, but it's double skin and it's got heating blowing around it if you wish it to. So it gives you full grade three, take it skiing capable. Now coming around to the back, we've got a two bike, two lay bike rack. I think a lot of people would probably keep the bikes in the garage, but it's nice to have the option not to, but that will just unclip if you don't want it there. Rear bumper condition check, perfect. Got reversing sensors, Camos reversing camera, factory fitted. Other bumper, perfect as well. But the other side of the garage there, so around this side on the habitation door side, you can dump your fresh water tank from there. That's your actual fresh water tank there inside the heated garage. We've got a main socket, a 12 volt socket and two USBs for charging things when you're sat outside underneath your two lay awning. So up there we've got a full length factory fitted two lay omni store awning. And we've got some service hatches for filling up your fresh water. And there's a two pin socket there and you can, uh, you might see in the garage a little hose, got a two pin plug on the end of it. You can bring a container of water to the van and pump it up into your tank if you don't wish to move the van to the water. It's a thing that British Adrias have and you may wish to use it, you may not, but it's handy. Perfect set toilet dump point, awning light, sliding lounge window so it doesn't get broken by the door but also means you can get some rear ventilation for your dog or your passengers. We've got mains hook up, leisure battery and there's a large solar panel on the roof. There's also an Avtex Wi-Fi system on the roof as well which is very very cool. So that will give you Wi-Fi booster uh, from campsite Wi-Fi and it'll also give you uh, 4G Wi-Fi from the mobile phone network if you want to put a data only SIM in it. Looking at the cab spec, it's got everything you'd think. One thing Andrew do use, which I like, are these one-piece fan style cab lines instead of the ones with a frame. I find these quieter and I don't find, because they haven't got a frame, the, uh, you don't lose as much light space, which is nice. So we've got leather gear stick and steering wheel. We've got the first of the new um, Fiat factory fitted seven inch infotainment system, which for most vans didn't appear until the X8. That is a brilliant system. It does uh, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto Play. So just connect it via Bluetooth or via cable and it will use sat nav off your phone. It's permanently live. It'll give you all your phone apps as well. Of course, you've got your cab windscreen blind, got the chrome surrounds there. It's got the Techno Silver style pack front and rear fog lights don't see that so often uh, air conditioning cruise control speed limiter and the awesome nine speed zf german fully automatic gearbox if you've driven a bmw or a jaguar land rover range rover product in recent years then um, this will be the gearbox now this is something i hadn't noticed so it's been up plated to 3700 kilograms by sv tech that's quite a good thing so as long as you've got a c1 driving license that means you've got cheaper road tax 165 compared to 325 and an extra 200 kilos of payload now if you didn't have a c1 driving license or you didn't want it registered to this we can just downplate it again it's only paperwork but as it is if you can drive it like that i'd leave it as it is so coming in through the centrally locked habitation door it is missing the bin the bins always fall off um we'll order one but you come in to a tremendously light modern yet comfortable place i love these i love all adrias i really love a compact dl it's 6.99 meters you'll get it around it's in the cheaper ferry bracket and yet it doesn't feel it so you've got this nice parallel sofa front lounge yes they're not six foot sofas no they're not super wide but they're pretty good and you're going to be sat in the cab seats with your feet back here anyway so that's lovely it's really nicely upholstered cab seats in the half leatherette same on the side now this turns into a forward facing seat belted seat that turns into a rear facing seat belted seat you can drop the table and make a small double bed beautiful big massive opening panoramic skylight or oh, not opening sorry front skylight big opening skylight there so your skylight's coming all the way back really really nice got these superb push button bits of cabinet work your tv goes in there that'll come out you'll fit a 21 inch avtex on there nice simple control panel up there along with your heater controls nice and easy to use which is great obviously blinds and fly screens and all your windows and that's your sliding window that you have open when you're driving but everything's really nicely boxed in and finished and just quality quality things they really are 
So, kitchen is class leading, it's very, very good. We've got an oven and grill combination there at a reasonable height. See how much cooking they've been doing. It's got some scorch marks back there, but to be fair, yeah, it's not been excessively used. There's nothing in this van that feels like it's been excessively used to me. It feels like a six, eight thousand mile van. So it's been used and looks after. Same with the hob as well. That's not been, it's been used, but it's not showing any particular signs of wear, which is great. Light up splashbacks, very good. Yeah, personally, I'd rather have a van that's been used rather than one that's not. Um, how do I do this? Oh, there we go. Just lift it up. Nice deep drawers, soft close. Another drawer there. So this one's got the standard fridge. I prefer this. There is an option for a longer fridge freezer, but then you lose this cupboard here. And that's a really big cupboard, so you can put a hanging rail in there, or you can just use it as a big storage cupboard. Personally, I put a hanging rail in there. And then you've got still a good size fridge with a freezer above. The other thing to think about is this is a 12 volt fridge freezer. So it's running off your leisure battery. Which to be fair, with your big solar panel, it, you can pretty much run these indefinitely, but bigger the fridge, more the battery consumption. So that for me is fine. And then you're into this big, very big rear bed. So we've got storage underneath of these. Look at that, that's really big in there. And then you've got, hanging rail underneath of here with your backrest for your forward facing seats and your, and your middle of your double bed infill cushion there's a hanging rail in there as well you can leave most of that at home most of the time if there's two of you we've got storage built into the steps we've got a nice pull out drawer in there as well that's so smooth quality lovely lovely things and then you've got very, very big single beds. Now you can lift up the backrest like a deck chair and that means you can sit up in bed and not clonk your head on those cabinet works. Heimer, pay attention to that. We've got two nice big opening windows at the sides and a full size rear skylight. You don't see that so often. Those spotlights back there, there are strip lighters back here. I can't find the switch for them. Those spotlights back there got USBs built into them for your phones. Why don't everybody do that? And you've got a curtain co coming across for privacy. There's also a second TV point up here and there is a TV aerial. Yes, there is a TV aerial on the roof. Now into the bathroom. Adria have used the swing wall shower idea invented by Heimer in 1872. Much copied by everybody else since, ironically dropped by Heimer, but it's a brilliant use of space. So when you're not using the shower, you've got a decent size bathroom with a nice sort of a super stylish sink, your normal Thetford for cassette toilet and a high level uh, cupboard door and a sliding door which is just makes best use of space and a proper chunky pull down hanging thing for hanging your, your wet stuff on with a skylight for ventilation and there's a blown air heater vent in there as well and two plug holes so your water drains. Now when you do want to have a shower simply bring that across, Bob's your auntie Switch your little light on if you want, and you've got a really good sized shower space. Yeah, you've got a wheel arch, but personally, you just put your foot up on the wheel arch and uh, do your evolution, so to speak. So that's uh, really, really good. Now, again, it's in super condition. It uh, needs a detail ballot, but it's it's not smoky or doggy. Uh, it's that a bit of just a bit of toothpaste on there rather than a crack. So that's just about it. So it's got the nine speed auto box, it's got the wind out awning, it's got the big solar panel, it's got the um, it's got a Cat 1 alarm, which I didn't say. It's got an auto watch, that's from Category 1 alarm and a mobiliser. Have to check to see if it's got a tracker. Um, might have, if not, we can supply one. Uh, it's got all sorts of USBs. It's got everything you could want. Bike rack, um, all job done. Now, the only thing I was going to check was just to see if it's got a second leisure battery. You've got a fly screen door across there. Let's have a little look at that. We can fit one, but you're better off fitting two batteries at the same time. So if it hasn't got one, I wouldn't bother having one at first. I do love these as well. Adria fit these. It's a kill switch. So when you're not using your van, turn it off. Everything's off. You won't knacker your leisure battery or leisure batteries. And you've got two amazingly good Adria leisure batteries. So big solar panel, two factory fitted Adria AGM leisure batteries. I've used those and they are brilliant batteries. Uh, really expensive, very snugly fitted under there. Barbecue point, yeah, it's got it all. It's an absolute belter. So it's a um, Adrian Compact Supreme DL. Now this fan, if you're watching this on YouTube, 
this one is actually reserved for someone do contact us anyway we might get another one coming in or might not stick whatever so do get us in touch and you can come and see us at Highbridge Motor Homes Devon oh it's got the Wi-Fi don't forget that 838 there so come and see us here uh, or give us a call on 01626832792 check us out on the highbridgecaravans.co.uk website if you call and we can't answer because we're too busy doing videos call the mobile 07432662558 and ask about this simply stunning and isn't it absolutely beautiful Adri Compact Supreme DL thank you very much goodbye